Alright, what's going on guys? I am bringing you the newest episode of my DLC camo nuclear slash 100 plus gameplay series, I guess you could say. This one's going to be with the jungle warfare camo. And let me break down the gameplay stuff real quick and then I'll talk about some other topics. So yeah, jungle warfare camo on the PW, I'm wearing fast mags on it, that's it. And my perks... Hardline, Flag Jacket, Scavenger, Toughness, and Dexterity with C4. And I'm running non-lethal, so UAV counter, VSAT, and I'm playing Hardpoint on the map standoff. So, pretty much all you need to know about the gameplay, all your questions should be answered. So yeah, this is the Jungle Warfare camo. In my opinion, it's kind of ugly. I don't know how, you can't see it that well on the PDW, and I apologize for that, but I didn't realize that it w wouldn't really show up that well on the PDW, or else I would have used um, a different weapon, but... Uh, I don't know, I kind of wanted to mix it up because uh, the other ones were all here with the A94 or the MSMC, so I thought, hey, let me throw on the PW, try to get one with this gun, and uh, it turned out kind of ugly looking, and uh, I think the camo really is kind of ugly, regardless, it's like green and orange, uh, I don't know, my opinion, it's one of the, the worst ones, but um, everybody, you know, likes their own stuff, so maybe you guys like, let me know if you guys like this camo, I really don't. But the one thing I do kind of like about it is the uh, reflex sight that it comes with, or at least the, or the reticle for the re reflex sight that comes with it. I think that one's actually kind of cool looking. It's like a, a circle. It's kind of like a broken circle. It's like a target sign, but the circle isn't all the way connected around it. It's like broken. I don't know how to explain it. You'd have to look at it yourself, but I kind of like that one. So, uh, in my opinion, that makes it cool. But that's pretty much all I got to say about this camo. Not really that cool, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, the reason I was using the PW and I've been using the MSC for all these new camos and stuff is because that recent patch was supposed to have uh, nerfed the MSMC and the PDW. So I was just trying them out, you know, a little bit. I, I use them anyway. I'm not gonna try to hide that from you or whatever. I could really care less about uh, what people say about what guns I use. It doesn't really matter to me. It's not a big deal. It's a gun on a video game. So yeah. But I did want to try them out because this was right after the patch, so I wanted to see how much of a difference there was. I don't really notice too much, and to be honest with you, if they never told us there was a patch, I wouldn't have, have thought there was, so if it is a difference, it's very small. Maybe a little bit more recoil in long, long-range um, gunfights, but that's about it, I guess. So, uh, yeah, MSMC is still my favorite gun in the game. The Vector uh, is starting to grow on me a little bit. If they haven't patched that, that'll probably be the next gun they patch. It's really strong, no recoil. And uh, it's a good gun, so I don't know. Maybe use the vector from now on. But yep, there's the brutal metal right there. That means I'm pretty close to the nuclear. It's about a three minute nuclear, so I guess that's pretty good. And uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed, leave me a like rating. That would be much appreciated. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you're new. And that's pretty much it. So have a good day, guys, and peace out. Orbital VSAT online. Orbital V.